Greetings and salutations all, my name is Zussa Spectrum and welcome back to Uplink OS. As I said in the uh, last story video, I wanted to do a quick rundown of how land hacks work in this game before we move on to our next uh, our next story mission with the Orn Ornamore Corporation. Uh, yeah, I'm never going to be able to say that really well. So, being as we don't... Ornamore. Ah. Because we don't currently have a uh, job short of the story mission, that's that's not good. Short of the story mission to hack a land, we're gonna go and find one of the various uh, lands that are available. And luckily, this game offers us uh, several sample networks that we can hack. So we got that. And so let's uh, it'll be right up here. What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. So there we go. Sample area network. Randomize into it. All right, there we go. So it's not happy about that. It wants us to know that we've accessed the local area network of their company, but that this system is not open to external connections from the net. If we've reached it by mistake, they want us to go ahead and disconnect now. Our IP has been logged, but it's not really our IP, so it's not the end of the world, really. Where's that trace tracker? Alright, now that we've got our ducks in a row, proverbially, as they would say, we'll pop up our scanner, make sure nobody's hot on our trail. Alright, so let's go ahead and activate those. And let's take a look at this land. So this is what it looks like. We've got our router, it's the initial access point for this bad boy. We're gonna go ahead and scan the network. Oh, just just a few items. All right. So these are everything that we can connect to without hacking or without having to uh, force our way through. That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> so after you've scanned the uh, network, first thing you ought to do is go ahead and probe it. So some important things to note. If you reach a... Let's go ahead and scan this bad boy. Are you locked? Um, some important things to note. Ha! There we go. These. These are locked. We can handle them two-way. We can force them, which will immediately notify the administrator who will then hop online and try and start tracing us down. And even if we have time left on this tracer, if he finds us in the system, he will go ahead and uh, go ahead and kick us right off, which is suboptimal, not the uh, situation that we are looking for. Oh, those are locked. Of course they are. So let's hop down here, probe our way in, and that's locked too, are you? Yep, yeah, that's locked, so one is, the other way, if you don't want to just crack it, let's find the controller, locks and unlocks. Ah, here's the authentication server. This is what we want. Ah. Oh. All right, so. We need to get rid of some of this stuff here right quick. Let's see, can we give that elliptical decipher any more power? I think so. Get that going a little faster. So what, we, what you always want to do is connect your authentication servers, because if you do that, we can crack through without alerting the system administrator, which is always a bonus. We're going to go ahead and disable security locks, and then back into here. So with that done, we can now get in here and we can probe. 
Hmm, we can probe. Alright, so he's locked too. His controller's down here. Let's see if we can't find that controller. Please. We know our controller's down here. Let's go up here then. Valid subnet. Okay, so in order, this is one of the other things I wanted to find. In order to connect through if this wants a valid subnet, we can spoof it, look like we are apart, and then valid sub. We would have access to that if we needed it, but we don't. So, his, this, okay, so there's the controller for this. We're gonna go ahead and Ah, okay. The admin has locked on. And so now we're going to show you what it looks like if they ever find us. Probe. You can see they are searching for us. Aha. Probe. And this is the trace of their search for us. There you go. And by spoofing this earlier, we could connect into this if we needed. And the controller for that is here. We can connect. And same thing, disable the security locks if we wanted. Oh! And that's what it looks like when he finds us. Now, the lucky thing for that is that all he's done at this point is kick us off the network. He hasn't actually found our home terminal. So that's not like having that happen to you, as long as you get in here, does not trigger a disavowment or anything like that. That's just a, hey, get off my network, get off my lawn kind of thing. So I think that's pretty much all there is to it. Opening authentication servers, um, spoofing access for the subnet. Um, so I think we'll go ahead and leave it there. As always, I am a Spectrum. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.